Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the crushed ice solenoid in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Lift the ice bucket assembly up in the front, then pull straight out. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to loosen the two ice maker mounting screws. Lift the ice maker off of the screws and disconnect the wire connector. Next, unthread the lower screws securing the ice auger drive motor assembly. Depress the tab to disconnect the wire harness. You can now lift the assembly up and out. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the crushed ice solenoid assembly. Lift out the assembly and unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Disconnect the power wires to fully release the assembly. Use pliers to remove the retaining clip to release the old pin from the spring and bracket assembly. You're now ready to prepare the new solenoid for installation. Insert the new pin into the spring and bracket assembly, then secure it with the retaining clip. Connect the power wires to the new solenoid terminals. Secure the grounding wire under the screw. Position the pin in the new solenoid, then align the assembly in the housing and rethread the two mounting screws. Reinstall the ice auger drive motor assembly by hooking the tabs into the slots in the support rails. Thread the two lower screws. Connect the wire harness. Reinstall the ice maker by first connecting the wire connector. Align the ice maker on the fill tube and the mounting screws. Then tighten the screws. Reinstall the ice bucket assembly by positioning it on the rails and sliding it straight back. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.